Hey guys, Davin Lim, Dermatologist. So today's topic is how long does it take before skincare actually works? So to cut a long story short, there's, as you guys know, there's many ingredients out there. However, I'll be concentrating on only four. These are the four mainstream ingredients that most dermatologists and skincare experts would use and would advocate. They include vitamin A, which includes your retinol and retinoids, your vitamin B, which is niacinamide, vitamin C, which is ascorbic acid, and of course, the skincare acids in particular, alpha hydroxy acid. So this is four that I'm gonna concentrate on and let's start. So vitamin A, vitamin A is also known as retinol or a retinoid. That can be medically prescribed as in retinoids or you can buy it over the counter including retinol and its other derivatives such as retinaldehyde and so forth. Now, in the context of vitamin A, it does take a long time before it works. So when we look at things, we have to think about, is it for medical use? or is it for cosmeceutical use? Medical use, however, is really tricky because the drug agencies or the drug companies need to undergo FDA, TGA, CE approval. And with that, they've got to be very careful with their wording and very careful in their results. So that's the difference between, I guess, a company that manufactures medical grade stuff, that's prescription, compared to a fuzzy company which manufactures cosmeceutical stuff, such as your retinols, your retinaldehydes, and your um, hydroxypinacolin retinates. In the context of medical prescribed retinoids, it can take up to six months before it works. So it depends on what we're treating. For example, if we're treating fine lines, fine wrinkles, photoagent, it may take anywhere between eight to 12 weeks before you see the results. And that's with a medically prescribed retinoid, which the caveat here is so much stronger compared to your over-the-counter skincare. In the context of photoaging and you're using that for, uh, as an anti-wrinkle cream and to treat sun damage, anywhere between eight to 12 weeks. In the context of using a medically prescribed retinoid, so things like tretinoin, your adapalene, your tazaratine, and your trifaratine, it can take all the way up to six months. So why is the difference between a medically prescribed retinol which is so much stronger, you know, between 100 to 1,000 times stronger than your over-the-counter retinol? Why does it take so long before it works? The answer is this, it's basically pharmacological. So if we want an effect in your DNA or your body or your transcription processes to increase your collagen or decrease, for example, oil production, inflammation, reduction of bacterial counts, all of these things which medically prescribed retinoids can do, it does take time. The most important thing is the wording and the regulations behind these products. So when we're comparing something like a retinol or retinaldehyde, for example, a company can often use a play of words. So basically it's how long does it take to improve wrinkles or the appearance of wrinkles. It doesn't have to state the ingredient that actually does that, but it could be the base it's in. For example, if you have a retinol in a very occlusive base, that can help dry skin. And as you know, when you put it on dry, dehydrated, wrinkled skin, you almost get an instant effect. So what these companies can do, and they often do, and it's big companies, it's not just small companies, it's the big name companies that own a lot of the skincare uh, space. So what they do is they, they say, it can work in as little as 48 hours to diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So that's the thing, because they're not governed by these particular um, bodies, they can use these terms as they see fit. Can it actually work? So like I said, it can, but once again, it does not work because it stimulates collagen or elastin to boost your hyaluronic acid levels within that two or three days. It usually acts as a moisturizer, and hence that can decrease dry, cracked skin, as well as plump up wrinkles because of skin hydration. Not the active ingredient itself, but the vehicle of which it is put in. So I hope that clarifies vitamin A. Vitamin B is a little bit different, niacinamide. Niacinamide, if you use that, you can use that for one of two things. You can use that as prevention of sunspots, for example, your solar keratosis, your sun damage, or you can use that to improve your skin barrier function, and that can act as an anti-inflammatory. So when you're looking at the A, B, Cs, and your alpha hydroxy acids of all of these, niacinamide probably works the fastest because it can reduce skin inflammation and help build up your skin barrier function. So in this context, you may see an improvement um, in your skin, especially if you have inflamed skin within 48, 72 hours, but generally speaking, within a week of use. 
In the context of reducing sun damage, something like solar dysplasia or precancerous cells, niacinamide is best taken orally. And when that is done, you often don't see a good response until three to six months. Topical niacinamide, however, is a little bit controversial compared to vitamin B3 taken orally. In that situation, it may take between three to six months to decrease the amount of sun damage. So that covers vitamin B. Vitamin C or ascorbic acid is a super potent and a super good antioxidant, which has many roles, including reduction of uh, wrinkles because it can work to stimulate collagen. It also works as an antioxidant and also works by reducing the amount of melanin because it's a tyrosinase inhibitor. So that's why they use it for cases like melasma and pigmentation. Now, vitamin C is a little bit tricky. It's much like vitamin A where you have many different uses and it works on different molecular levels. Now, when you look at vitamin C as an antioxidant, you ask how long does it take before it works? Well, the answer is that you might not even see it working. Reason being is because it is a preventative. So what an antioxidant does is that it scavenges free radicals. In other words, molecules which are increased with UV exposure as well as pollutants. And these molecules are basically free radicals and they can cause damage to your DNA, but also denature collagen and elastin. So if you're using vitamin C for that reason, you may not see a difference in your skin because vitamin C acts as a protective mechanism. On the flip side, if you're using vitamin C to treat, for example, pigmentation, it can reduce the amount of pigment produced by inhibiting an enzyme called tyrosinase, which produces pigment and hence it can be used as a color corrective for your skin. If you use vitamin C for that regard, it may take anywhere up to four to eight weeks. Reason being is that if you have a cell called the melanocyte producing pigment and it inhibits the pigment process, remember the pigment's got to make its way up into your skin and extruded through your um, upper layers of your skin. When we inhibit that enzyme, it may take between four to eight weeks. It depends on your skin turnover. It depends on your age, depending on the location of which you're using it to actually see a difference from vitamin C. Similar thing happens when you're using vitamin C for stimulation of collagen. You may not see that for way down the track, maybe three to six months. Often vitamin C is considered inferior compared to retinoids for anti-wrinkle purposes. Last of all, let's cover AHAs or alpha hydroxy acids. This group of skincare acids is one of my favorite. They include things like lactic acid, glycolic acid, citric acid, mandelic acid. All of these acids are known as the AHA family. AHAs can do one of a few things, including potentiate, in other words, increase the absorption of your actives, other skincare actives. It can work by exfoliation of your skin. And also alpha hydroxy acids can work by stimulating collagen production, generally speaking, with higher concentrations with something like a glycolic acid. So let's go back to basics. In the context of increasing absorption from uh, your other actives. So what we might use alpha hydroxy acid for is a primer. In other words, to decrease the amount of um, dead skin cells in the stratum corneum or upper parts of your skin so that the active ingredient which you're putting on, whether it be an A, whether it be a C, can be increased and have a higher bioavailability. In other words, high absorption. So obviously if you have sensitive skin, probably not a good idea for this. But in this context, it can work almost instantly. Um, in other words, it works by sloughing off the top layer of your skin, increasing the permeation of other molecules. So if you're using alpha hydroxy acids as a primer, that works quickly. If you're using alpha hydroxy acids to stimulate collagen, that takes time. So any stimulation of collagen basically increases the activity of a cell known as fibroblasts. These fibroblasts produce collagen. And in this situation, it may take between three to six months before you notice the best outcomes. So we know as dermatologists that when we're using high strength chemical peels, so something like in the order between 20, 35, 50, and all the way up to 70% alpha hydroxy acids in a very low pH buffered solution, we can get an amazing amount of collagen stimulation. But with these kinds of alpha hydroxy acids, they do need to be neutralized because it is a form of superficial chemical peeling. Now with topical use, in other words, when you're using between five, 15, 18% alpha hydroxy acids, you may not see a good result for between three to six months. So the final thing about alpha hydroxy acids is it's 
exfoliation effects. So as an exfoliant, it can help reduce pigment. It's one of my favorite ingredients for people who do not have sensitive skin. What this works is to increase your turnover of your skin cells known as your keratinocytes. And when that happens, it can increase the turnover. For example, if your skin's gonna turn over in five weeks, you can speed that up to increase the turnover in three weeks. So most people will get or notice a result because they have a brighter skin surface between two to four weeks. So guys, I hope you liked that video. This is an analytical video on skincare rather than the fluff. Once again, um, be careful when you read what the formulations are. Uh, because it varies a lot. Bioavailability also um, matters. And most importantly, there's a lot of marketing out there, heaps of marketing. So basically, you've got to see through that marketing to figure out what works best for you. I hope you like that video. Share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.